Okay, okay. Okay, good evening everyone. Uh, good evening, Miss Ruri, Mr. Abi, Miss Nita, Miss Yudi. Welcome to this meeting. Uh, yeah, today we have speaker. She is Mr. Mr. Lagi, Miss Hadra. The topic is about the power of storytelling and yeah because because this is about story so please uh listen carefully because maybe uh <laughs> yeah maybe in that story have question by miss hadra or anything so yeah we, we try to make uh yeah try to listen first after that uh as i mentioned before uh, in this meeting, have four session. One is opening to speak up by Miss Hadra, and also have Q and A. After that, if the participant more than ten person, ten people, so we move to breakout room. And also in the last session, we must uh, choose one person to be next speaker. So okay, right now the time to Miss Hadra to to explain the presentation of the power of storytelling. Okay, Miss Hadra, time is yours. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Suki, for your opportunity. Um, my voice clear, there, Mr. and Miss Miss. Not clear. Not clear. Maybe if because about the internet connection, if, uh, don't, yeah. if you don't mind, you you close your camera. But please try uh, speak more. Okay, let me turn off my camera. Okay, okay, maybe better. Okay, okay please continue. I'll open here. I'll open here my camera. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, thank you so much, guys, for the opportunity tonight, and welcome to Wednesday night, right? Casual. This is program for casual, and this night we have the power of storytelling. This is our topic uh, this night. But uh, to be honest, that I'm so sorry, guys. I don't want to spoil to you what is the power of storytelling because. In the end story, you will get find by yourself what is actually power of storytelling. Not only about the power of storytelling, but also what is actually storytelling. Let's see later in the end. And here, guys, I just want to tell you about the story. Yeah. Like you see here that a girl has a big dreams since 2007. Um, this is talk about storytelling, guys. And I try to uh, tell you the story. A little girl has a big dreams. Um, she really want to, um, want it. I mean, to continue her study. But unfortunately, he she got she got problem. What is the problem actually? The problem is it's about economic. That economy economic, it's very low. And then she tried to find the solutions what happened that next because their parents couldn't uh, pay for the educations and after that uh the little girls um some like um a make a conversation with uh, with the parents that okay mom i want to continue i really want to continue my study I made her study, and after that, after I come back from school, I will help you in the farm because, um, you know that in that moment they uh, she stay in the remote area. Yeah, this is the remote area where is the um, infrastructure didn't enter yet. Uh, limited about informations, and then all of things that limited, especially about infrastructure. But 
are still really ambitious about the education. Even she didn't have a lot of money, but she tried to find the solution. In that moment, their parents, their parents just only working in the people field. It means that if there is someone need their hands directly, they will come. Uh, they will uh, help them. Yeah, like you see that uh, this is uh, one of um, a job for their parents. But to be honest, that in the past, um, they didn't get salary. I mean that it's about money, money, right? In this area, we know that salary is money. But in the past, salary is not money. Because in the past, what you do, what you did, you will get it. Uh, for example, that if you harvest the party, you will you will uh, you will get party too. But if you harvest like peanut or corn, yeah, you will get it too. It depends what you did it. Yes. What happened the next? Uh, she always um help her parents in the farms. And uh, how to say that even she didn't have time too much uh, time to play with uh, with her friends, but he still consistent about his uh, her cult. And after she graduated from senior high school, she looking for university. What happened to university? Uh, she got a big problem actually because she didn't want it see um wanted to see her parents uh difficult because uh the economic her parents is very low and then when she entered the university she tried to looking for other job what is that she worked in a restaurant while she is a uh, get education in that time but yeah you can imagine guys guys that she entered in the campus at seven o'clock. And after that, she finished her campus around one o'clock and she continued again and three o'clock to go to the restaurant and that finished around 12 or one o'clock. Yeah, she really, um, this, uh, uh, how to say that, she really uh, managed her time Discipline, consistent because she has a dream. And then in the end, she did it actually. Even she got a lot of problem about economic. She uh, did while she working, uh, she get no, uh, knowledge, not only in the campus, but also the, in the organizations because she really love it, make communication, make communication with, uh, make communication or interaction many peoples yeah what we can get it from this story it is uh there is a moral actually as we know that as free storytelling we can get moral inside for example that be consistent person what you can if you consistent for one job and consistent what do you do every day you can get the result in the end and the second, it's about disciplines, disciplines, and disciplines. It means that uh, it's similar actually, but consistent. But if you're a disciplined person, you can try manage your time, manage the all of things. It's impossible in the future you can, you can um, uh, be success. Just and until right now, she still has a dream. To continue her study again, even the her economy is still low. But it's okay because of the story, because of a lot of problem uh, happened from her, she became independent girl. It means that he can put herself wherever she wherever she could. Yes. What we can learn here, talk about the power of storytelling actually. Yeah. If we after we hear it about the story, we can keep focus about the story. Yes, 
we can try to imagine the story. And the third, we can put, uh, or maybe we can tell in our, in our friends. Yes, it's, it's actually the power, one of power of storytelling. And let's continue, guys, that talk about storytelling. What is actually storytelling? Yes. Uh, for me, myself, that storytelling is powerful weapon for us to uh, convey, uh, how to say that, to start conveying ideas. Um, I will give you, for example, that the closest example is if you see in the past, the Patriot try to tell the story, tell the story to um, society. And what happened? Just only from the story, the voices from Indonesians can gather. It means that they uh, get teamwork each other just only about the storytelling. It's very powerful, actually. And then, yeah, I just only like that, guys. And then in these situations, um i have questions for you guys like uh, mr mr to get said before that there is a surprise surprise questions um is it okay if i choose you guys uh but um to how to say to give you a surprise questions okay Thank you so much, guys, for attending this meeting. And then let's hear from Mr. Abi Suhada Putra. Are you there, Mr. Abi? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Abi, <laughs> actually, uh, why we call this a praise question? Because you know that uh, it's directly uh, when you have already speak up and directly we I can give you the questions. So Mr. Abi, uh, if you were the girl, would you be student while you are working? Could you give your opinion about it, Mr? Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, I have already done a, a similar experience with your story. <laughs> wow, that's great. Yeah, um, uh, moreover, as a man or as a male, uh, commitment, agreement is a number one for me, for the all of men, I think. Uh, when we have the good or high spirit, hard work, and, you know, everything will be done, everything will be uh, achieved, I think. And storytelling, I agree with you. I do agree with you. Uh, storytelling is <clears throat> uh, something important to influence the peoples, the other peoples, to get the positive message, like a positive spirit from the from your story. And you know, uh, every motivator, you know, like uh, sorry, I get I tell you about uh, Mario Tagu is having many story which is a story is um, very good to influence someone or some peoples or other people to to get more spirit to get more pressure to uh, to get achievement better achievement I think Oh, I see. Okay, thank you so much, Mister. I'm really a proud of you because you have already do it like that story. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you so much, Mister Abi, and let's go to the next speaker, Miss Nita. Are you there? <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> <clears throat> yes, Miss. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> Miss mm -hmm. Kay, as um, what about you, Miss Kay? What did you get it from the story, or maybe uh, you can tell us about what kind of moral you can get it from the story? Oh my God, your story, story before 
I didn't smoke a smear. Oh, you didn't smoke. Sorry, it. sorry. Okay. Because I, I just, I yeah, <laughs> I just back home. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, so maybe Miss um Miss K, could you give uh opinion about what is actually storytelling according to yourself? Uh, story. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. <clears throat> can you repeat yeah. it again? Can you can you can you give your opinion about um a storytelling? Oh what yeah, is yeah. Storytelling from your side. Oh, storytelling. Yeah. Uh, uh, there are a lot of. Uh, there are a lot of. Oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, storytelling is uh, good, especially for children to improve language skill and uh, include communication skill, writing to understand the storyline, and uh, also foster children creativity to imagine and provide new ideas. <laughs> mm, I see. Okay, thank you so much, Miss K, for your opinion. That's very great, actually. Uh, you have already mentioned or you have already understand about the storytelling. So let's move, say hello to Miss Didi. Are you there, Miss Didi? Miss Didi? Okay. What about Miss Rory? Yeah, hello. Hello, Miss. Yes, yes, Miss Sadra. So yeah. sorry, Miss Sadra. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm mute. <laughs> okay. Yeah, oh, thank yeah, you thank for you so the, much, your room. Okay. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm so late, Miss. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Actually, Miss Didi, we have already talked about storytelling. What is the actually storytelling? And maybe you have others' opinion about the storytelling and then what about the power of storytelling. Do you have opinion about it, Mr. Miss? Sorry, oh, Miss Didi? Yeah, maybe uh, I want to give my opinion about the storytelling. You know, storytelling is a power. Yeah, it's just like uh, you give you the experience to other people. Mm -hmm. in around you yeah because the yeah because the story like uh, it's uh, like uh, like it's the uh, facts yeah you know yeah it is the the uh, good also for the stimulate for the children and yeah maybe it's uh, all, all all for people also yeah i think so, yeah we can uh, we can now uh, how is the around and our how is the like uh, yeah well like we we uh, we see uh, to the movie means yeah this is uh, from me oh okay thank you so much miss didi for your um opinion about the storytelling thank you so much for joining us here and well guys and let's hear miss ruri first voice yeah, yeah, Miss yeah. Mm -hmm. What yeah. about you, Miss? According yeah, I to listen, yeah, I uh -huh. listened to your story and uh, that was uh, inspiring. Yeah, and story storytelling always amazing. Uh, it remind me to my uh, yeah back then when I was a little girl. I always. Um, uh, my mom always uh, read me a uh, storytelling before uh, we went to sleep and yeah until even until today uh, a lot of a uh, good message I, I still remember and that's the power of storytelling yeah and as your story about your life that was inspiring because you live in a remote area and but you have you didn't afraid to have um, something uh, a, a goals yeah you have a goal and you didn't afraid of it and 
you can achieve it. It's so inspiring, Miss. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Miss Rui, about that. Uh, by the way, Miss Rui, I hear you before that uh, you mentioned about the power of storytelling when your mom uh, told the story to you. So what kind of power do you get it if so, if your mom uh, tell the story, told the story? Yeah, most of the message in the storytelling tell us about uh, how to be nice people, good people, and uh, we have to, uh, you know, like uh, ask to Allah, uh, don't forget praying and something like that, I think, yeah. And what else, yeah, uh, respect to the older, I think, the most, the most, yeah, because we, uh, long time ago, I live in the, in the village, and the norma or uh, the rules, uh, I think we have to appreciate the culture like that, Miss. Mm, okay, that's great, actually, Miss Rory. Any else, Miss Miss Rory? Yes. Apple? Yeah, I think I think uh, about the future as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so people, uh, uh, people have to. Uh, must have a goal so we can easy to uh, to get uh, uh, to, to reach yeah, to, to achieve our goals like that oh, okay thank you so much miss Rui, about your opinion uh for us and then uh let's hear miss yudi share how you there his voice before we are going to pick out break out room and then like i said before this is a surprise question for you guys and let's pick up here mr yudi are you there mr yudi have bad connection so maybe you can choose another participant. oh yeah oh sorry 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 what about mr fipas hello mr fipas yeah, sorry, <laughs> late to respond. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. Um, Hello. yeah, what about you, Mr. Vibas? Could you give your opinion uh, about a power of storytelling according oh. to your, your side? Yeah. yeah um, as we know that um, as we know that every person have a difference of you about the power of storytelling or uh, the argument about storytelling. Yeah, okay, time's yours, Mr. Vibas. Yeah, thank you for the chance. Actually, um, we can say that, um, firstly, coming from stories, firstly, coming from the stories that when we learn about the word, it has stories, right? Yes. <laughs> and, and then when we when we uh, what is it when we when we become a helicopter parents a helicopter parents to our children we should have a lot of stories right mm -hmm. okay and then when, when we when we become a good director the, the, the good director should collect and have and even imagine stories right okay <laughs> so uh, stories create a uh, human's idea and then yeah and then human's idea can create stories so feedback stories can create human's idea and human idea hello yeah helicopter. yeah, I mean, yeah helicopter. I mean helicopter parents it's idea that that parents really really um, protect um, and then raise children. That, that's what I mean. Okay, I, I continue. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. I, I mean, so uh, when we want to improve, when we want to improve people, even I'm manager and the leader, and then whatever I am, I should master a lot of stories. Because actually stories, yeah, like you say, really, really, get powerful 
So even even the, the informant informant is narasumber should collect some stories. So what is uh, the function of story? Yeah, so powerful because when we really have good uh, stories, even life stories, yeah, it can motivate people. It can inspire people. It can really, really wake up, wake people up from maybe get lazy, get weak and hopeless, frustrated. They can really get spirited. So that's why I say the uh, storytelling is really, really powerful. So yeah. you know that, yeah, Europe, European, European, I mean, Europe people, European, Europe people, I mean, educate children, even by babies, they really whisper, whisper stories to the baby's ear when they want to sleep. So really, really, when, when the baby is still, I mean, when the, when the kid is still in young age, they really, really, the baby really have, the babies really have imagination. That's why imagination can defeat a knowledge. That's uh, Einstein said. That's why European people, uh, yeah, uh, most of them may be smarter than Indonesian. That's what I, uh, my, that's my opinion. Okay, thank you so much. That's very great opinion, Mr. Fibas. Uh, but hold on, guys. We have Miss Henny here. Maybe Miss Henny have others' opinion about the power of storytelling. Okay, Miss Henny, are you there? Yeah, okay. Uh, can't you hear my voice clearly there? Because the yeah. internet connection is not it's really good. <laughs> Hello, really everyone. Good. Firstly, I would like to introduce myself. Uh, it's very nice um, uh, for you to invite me in this uh, session. Yeah, um, nice to meet you all. I'm Henny from Palembang, South Sumatra. Okay, um, because I'm late, enjoying um, your conversation or what kind of this session is a uh, speak up if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, I just, welcome, uh, Miss Henny. Catch up from your um, slide. I think it's a kind of your story um, where you get your dream, right? Is it right? Where yes. you, um, it's related to your, uh, when you, want to um, what is that get your degree um, to study and you get your um, degree as a title and I think it's um, um, it's good and we can get um, more motivation to to study more based on your um, story where you um, what is that um, uh, stay in remote area and you share uh, your experience it's really inspiring me because not everyone can survive in that condition especially in remote area as we know that um uh, in in as a, as a teacher as a teacher it's not easy for us to uh, to stay in that condition because we met um, different level, different people, and different cultures, and we have to uh, survive, and we have to understand each other with that condition. I think for me, um, storytelling is a, a method for us to uh, to communicate or share our story. Uh, it can be from ourselves as a, a storyteller to motivate others about our story. And as I know that um, story tell, storytelling, there are some part in storytelling, like uh, we can read um, comics or novels. And so it can be some talks or lectures. And based on the reading text that we have read, we share or we tell the story to the children, can be children or people around us. Um, related to the story. Yeah, I think uh, for me myself, because I'm not um, 
what is that i don't really like reading a lot um okay. i lay I, i'm lazy i'm lazy i'm too lazy to read um i i read whenever i need some information or in a hurry condition i i can read but for me myself i prefer um listening to some music and and also study by watching um yeah for me myself i i get a more motivation uh to based on your slide to read more and more i think thank you miss for your explanation thank you okay. so much for uh, your opinion miss Penny. yeah miss Penny. thank you so much and well guys because uh, our times um yeah our time still have two many two minutes left it means that i will uh, have to say uh, over to our house uh, first because our house will uh, make breakout room so we will be discussed uh okay sorry 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 okay okay i'm sorry um, good evening everyone i've just come here uh, i've just uh, joined here firstly uh, first i just i just connect with mr gudio from uh, entity kupang uh, i always join in the class not only but uh, yeah maybe three time a, a week or four time a week it's been a little bit serious situation and now this we met, we have met uh, with the um, what you call uh, a guys from Boston, US, and I, I, I never sorry, I, I didn't say um, what is a permission to for for leaving the group, and I jump to this uh, group. Yeah, I don't know, so, but no, no. I mean, uh, I would like to ask, do do you always uh, open this uh, meeting? I mean, uh, um, well at night. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Uh, who can I call you? Mr. Nasaruddin. Yeah. Okay, because Mr. I know, yeah, maybe half of it is, uh, uh, is how to say, uh, half of this, uh, the member is from uh, fast English, uh, from okay. Maybe, uh, okay, thank you so much, Mr. You, uh, uh, I just, I just now, I, I just now, do you, do you always open your link every night? Okay, hold on, Mr. Udin. Mr. Udin, if you want to get the answer, you may uh, stay in this room because we are still breakout room. After okay. we talk in the breakout room, I will answer your uh, question, Mr. Udin, if you don't mind. Okay. Is it okay? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I give come back uh, to our house, Mr. Sugi, because uh, my time is over. Please, Mr. Sugi. Okay, wait a minute. All right, thank you very much, uh, Ms. Adra, for your uh, explanation about the power of storytelling. Okay, uh, maybe to I, I want to uh, give the information because uh, today we have newcomer like uh, Miss Henny or maybe uh, Bang Eka or Nasharuddin uh, or also Miss Didi, yeah. Uh, actually, this meeting regularly uh, open in Wednesday night. But if you want to, how to say, practice more, actually we have a WhatsApp group, uh, which is uh, almost every day we have a Zoom meeting, but a different topic or different, how to say, different posts. So. Uh, today the the so meeting uh, we want to commit only one hour. So uh, right now, Ms. Hadra already explained about the power of uh, storytelling. Yeah. And next our session is uh, to discuss in breakout room. As you see in the in the slide, we have five question. Uh, why why I uh, moved to breakout room because to make sure all of the participants have opportunity to practice English. So because right now the participant have uh, twelve. So okay, Mr. Fibas, thank you very much, Mr. Fibas. So maybe I wanna make uh, two breakout room to discuss 
uh, every uh, question. And uh, uh, the duration only 15 minutes. After that, we have uh, we still have one session to choose the speaker to the next Zoom meeting. Okay, I wanna make two breakout rooms. Maybe before before uh, join to the breakout room, please capture or maybe uh, yeah, just uh, remember all the all the question. Yeah, maybe uh, all, all of the participants can uh, I have to say that screenshot first because um, you can discuss this question, guys. Thank you so much, Mr. Sugi. Yeah, okay. You're welcome. So please, guys, join to the breakout room. Uh, duration the duration only fifteen minutes. Mr. Sugi, um, sorry. Can you bring to me, bring me to just only breakout room? Yeah, because my laptop, uh, room two, my handphone room oh, okay. two. Sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Um, you just, uh, how to say, just ignore the, the, the invitation. Okay. Okay, I want to pause the recording. Uh, the member of casual group, right? So yeah, you have to contribute your knowledge. Uh, to our yeah, when I have a free time, uh, uh, yeah, I'm trying, trying to help a lot of members. You know, uh, actually, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been anywhere and and uh, I'm messing around the groups. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Welcome back to our main room, guys. So, uh, okay, this is our schedule or our session. So, uh, right now we already discussed in breakout room. Actually, we still have one session to choose the next speaker. But before before uh, we choose the next speaker, please uh, maybe from Ms. Hadra as a speaker today, please uh, maybe you give conclusion or maybe you have still have any question to the participant. Okay, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Uh, Sugi. For me, myself, I think that's very clear, right? About the storytelling, about the power, because um, I have already given uh, some like a story, and then we have already discussed in the breakout room. But I just want to know, guess that because before we end in this uh, meeting, I just want to hear you guys one word or two words, two words for uh, this meeting. Start for me. Um, two words, uh, just only one word. One <laughs> for me, that's awesome. And what about you, Miss Yudi? One word from you this meeting. Mm, consistent. Consistent. Okay, Miss Nuru. Yes, me. What? One word. One word about your presentation. About, yeah, support this meeting. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Ms. Nuru and Ms. Nita. Wonderful. Wonderful. Nasaruddin, Mr. Udin. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much. What about Ms. Nita? I'm done. I have done. Oh, done. Sorry. Ms. Didi? It's a great miss. Great. Okay. What about Miss Fabry? Splendid. Pardon? Splendid. Splendid. Mr. Alberto? Great. Great. And the last we have Miss Henny Uday. Um Mr. Abang, 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 English. English. 
Okay, Mr. Sugi, the last speaker. Yeah, that's great. No, great. I am the last. Pardon? Okay. 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 Continue, Mr. Sugi. All right, Ms. thank Hadha. you. Wait, wait, Miss Hadha, you, you don't answer uh, the question of Miss uh, was that Mr. Houdin? It's you, about. You, you it's promise about, to answer him. But I uh, mean that Mr. Sugi have already answered actually. I'm not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sugi have already answered about um, a question, Mr. Houdin, that what kind of meeting? You know? All right. So, okay. Maybe, yeah, actually, I already mentioned before we start the room, but. I want to inform again, but uh, actually uh, this meeting originally from casual English, speaking English, uh, we uh, have WhatsApp group, the name is casual speaking English, and maybe if you want to join, it's okay. Uh, okay, I want to chat my my number in the in chat box you can text me private okay this this is my whatsapp number and maybe if you need more uh, practice english you can join in this uh, whatsapp group because uh mostly every day we have a uh, so meeting even though uh with another another how to say another way to uh speaking and in this meeting we try to become uh become uh how to say a public speaker yeah? because because in this session we we need one person to speak up uh the the topic is uh up to speaker so actually uh today is uh, episode four because I already become a speaker, Mr. Abi, Mr. Fibas, and today is Mr. Hadra. So, uh, who want to become a speaker for the next two meeting, guys? Okay, maybe I want to choose Mr. Fabry. Mr. Fabry, are you ready to become a speaker, Mr. Fabry? Uh, no, the no next. Uh, wait or maybe not this man, Mr. Sugi. Pardon, pardon. Not, not this man, I guess. Oh, not okay. Okay, maybe Mr. Yudi. Yeah, I'm curious about Mr. Yudi. Mr. Yudi, are you ready? I'm on the Anna SIM, Mr. Sugi. So, what can I say for you? How how to say uh, how to say we on for Taiwan maybe yeah I can give you the tutorial for that yeah 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 so <laughs> it means next next speaker is you hmm yeah I try my best. Okay, thank you, Mr. Yudi. So, guys, next next uh, week or in when Wednesday night, we have a new speaker. Uh, he is Mr. Yudi. Okay, before we close, please, if you don't mind, please open your camera. Just yeah, just to uh, how to say, just to uh, make a documentation every Zoom meeting in Wednesday night. So please, guys, open your camera. Oh, uh, Bangika, you are handsome man. Okay, Mr. Udin, thank you for opening camera. Also, Mr. Oh, Alberto. I, I, I don't, I oh, don't Miss Henny, Miss Henny, usually you always open camera if I join in your meeting. Okay, hold on, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm waiting for you. 
Nice to meet you, uh, Bang Eka, and also my my long long friend, Mr. Alberto. Thank you for joining this meeting. Okay, Miss Henny already. So, Mr. Yudi, please open your camera. Mr. Abi, Kakak Nurul, Kakak Nita also. I'm, I'm top touch right now. Okay, okay. Okay, I think enough, yeah. So, I'm gonna counting from three to one. Three, two, one. All right. Thank you very much, guys, for attending this Zoom meeting so we can see the next Zoom meeting. Thank you. And also, Marhaban, your Ramadan. Thank uh, you. And yeah. For center today, thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, thank nice you. to meet you guys. And welcome, Ramadan, and we do thank hope you. tomorrow. Thank you, Miss Hydra. Yeah. Thank, thank you, everyone. Thank you, okay. Ramadan.